whenever I'm feeling drained or need to shut myself out from the world, the number one thing that'll better me is to drive. No one in particular or no matter how far, just getting in my car and putting on some awesome audio and I'll be a better man in no time. There's just something about forgetting all your troubles and just focusing on the road that makes me feel better. Perhaps it's growing up around car culture or playing way too many driving games, but there's nothing more soothing and relaxing than just being in my car and driving. American Truck Simulator is the closest the game has made me genuinely relax for the longest time. It's not a game about drifting corners, going stupidly fast, or taking part in some ridiculous storyline. In American Truck Simulator, you just drive. You drive because you need money, you drive because you need to upgrade your truck, you drive other people's trucks because you want to buy a new truck of your own or upgrade an existing truck. It's a game that's all about driving and driving realistically. This is a simulator after all, the name isn't there ironically. There's a real weight and heft to each truck and you'll need to take your trailer into effect when reversing or trying to make a turn. Speed limits and US road rules are enforced, meaning you'll need to keep to them unless you want to risk a fine. If you're driving along the interstate, you'll need to check into a weight station to see if you're carrying a dangerous amount of weight or not. And if you're running low in fuel or high in fatigue, you'll need to top that off or just rest up. It all sounds incredibly mundane, the last thing you want to do in a game ostensibly about driving, and yet, there's a weird satisfaction to everything you do. There's no pressure to beat the competition, there aren't any times to beat. There's just you, your music, and the road. The game's handling is generous enough to be pretty forgiving if you want it to be, and you can even turn off some of the more frustrating features just to focus on driving. It's a wonderfully lonely and meditative experience, something that no game about driving really does. In a world where gaming is always online and experiences are intended to be shared, having something that's so deeply personal that only you can experience is exceedingly becoming rarer. And it's arguably what makes American Truck Simulator, and it's even its predecessor, Euro Truck Simulator 2, stand out for being some irony tinged joke game on Steam, and it's just something legitimate. Coupled with this is the inspired decision regarding music. American Truck Simulator doesn't have any music playing while you're driving, it's up to you to provide it. While the game does have built-in support for playing your own MP3s and it's easy enough to have something like Spotify or a podcast going in the background, the real MVP here is the game's online radio system. Effectively, the game has the built-in means for you to stream from a variety of online radio stations in-game. Providing you can get a streaming radio address, you can listen to just about anything. So if you ever wanted to drive down California's I-5 listening to some hardstyle or hell even some Australian radio, sure, go ahead. There's nothing stopping you. With some modding, you could even set it up so the game will only play local stations depending on your location in the game world, fading in and out to noise because you're out of the signal. Completing the experience is the community built around the concept of truck sim. While this extends to the generous helping of mods around Steam Workshop and the internet, the biggest thing coming out of it is Truckers FM, an online radio station started up by two brothers who are fans of the series. It's grown from being a fun hobby for those playing the game to becoming a semi-professional radio station, with dedicated shows and presenters all broadcasting people playing the game and even outside of it. It's become so prevalent that not only is it a default in every truck sim game, that actual truckers have been photographed listening to it. By far the biggest question and most exciting thing about American Truck Simulator is that it's a game still in progress. While it's not a live game in the sense of something like Destiny, it's a game that's periodically receiving updates and additions to make the game a bigger and better experience. Hell, it's even sharing updates with Euro Truck Simulator 2 in some cases. Both games recently just got an update to have voiced GPS lines as an example. The only real issue, and it's a minor one at most, is that those wanting to drive coast to coast or live out their dreams of driving Route 66 are going to be kind of disappointed. The game to date only features states on the west coast of America and only just out of the state of Washington, meaning that you can at least do routes from the top to the bottom of the country now. It's something that's going to be improved over time, no doubt, but it can be a bit of a bummer at times, yet despite all this, there's still quite nothing quite like American Truck Simulator. Nothing else comes as close to replicating these simple pleasures of driving, and I think that's all the better for it. Anything more would have diluted what's such a unique experience, and it's going to be fascinating to see what comes out of it in the years to come. All that being said, American Truck Simulator comes highly recommended.